This Labor Day weekend, hardly anyone will be doing any labor. But while you're enjoying the holiday, keep in mind the new laws that will affect anyone out on the water. This Sunday, the new and mandatory kill switch for boat operators goes into effect. The new law has been dubbed Cali's Law, named after a young girl who was vacationing in Aransas Pass back in 2012. 16 year old girl was run over by the boat she was on and the propel she was hit by the propeller and killed. Game warden Laren Johnson says to help avoid something like that from ever happening again, anyone manning a 26 foot boat or smaller now has to wear an ignition safety kill switch. It has to be attached to either your body, your clothing or your life jacket if they're operating at more than headway speed. So that's more than idle or just enough to be able to maneuver. The idea behind the kill switch is if the boat operator is thrown from the boat, either to the ground or into the water, the kill switch attached to the ignition will get pulled off, cutting the power to the engine. So that the engine can't run you over and the propeller run you over and kill you. Which could save the lives of people on the boat or people who are swimming or kayaking nearby. Because the law is new, Johnson says chances are you won't get a citation this weekend. People will get tickets for that eventually once we really start cracking down on um, if we don't get enforcement through education. A citation for boating without a kill switch will be a class B misdemeanor. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Brenna Matuti, Action 10 News. And officers will also be watching for anyone manning a boat under the influence. By the way, charges for boating while intoxicated carry the same heavy fines and penalties as driving while intoxicated.